Jay Gowen hit the country scene in 2006 and three years later was named the Academy of Country Music's top new male vocalist. Jake's out with a fourth studio album called Days of Gold and he joins me now. Jake, great to have you here. Good to be here. Yeah, so this new album, it f came out in December, but it really feels like a summer record. Is that the kind of vibe you're going for this time around? Yeah, I think it's just kind of my vibe in general is uh, I'm born and raised in Florida and it's kind of what I know about. And um, But yeah, most of my albums tend to uh, have the sun shining <laughs> on them throughout the whole record. You know? How about going through the songs and picking the ones that were a fit for you? I mean, how does that process work? Uh, it's been different over the years because yeah. the first uh, years I was out and, and made records, I was pretty much writing most of the music on all my records. Um, but uh, Nashville's filled with so many great songwriters that it's uh, crazy not to utilize that. For me, it's just about listening to music that makes sense, that I believe in, that kind of personifies or exemplifies the kind of person that I am. And um, it's fun. It's a lot of fun picking songs that you necessarily did or didn't write. Like Beachin', for example, which is yeah, a big major that. hit, but it feels like your song. I mean, how did you make it your own and you know, how, why does it speak to you? It just feels good yeah. and it made me smile when I heard it and it made me go, uh, I'd like to sing this for the rest of my life. With the last studio album, you had a bunch of hits. Did that put on a lot of pressure this time because you're like, oh, I gotta follow that up with something awesome? No, uh, if anything, I told people that it made it easier huh. just because I never had had anything like that before. And so I was always putting pressure on myself before that record that had the four number one hits on it um, that I needed to have a hit. And uh, after having the four in a row, to me, I felt like it made it a lot easier. And now you're playing a lot of these songs on tour. We have a boating beach vibe going on. I know, I mean, I know that's like your thing, but can you talk about how you incorporate that into the live show? Um, well, it just kind of is, it's natural. Yeah. Um, I was lucky this year to have uh, Discover Boating be a sponsor of my tour, which just their name on the tour adds kind of a, an atmosphere before you even get there. When you buy a ticket, it says dis presented by Discover Boating. Um, people kind of, are like, oh, I kind of see what this guy's into. Yeah. Um, and then our show, our production, you know, we have palm trees on stage and like tiki bars, and um, it just provides an atmosphere for people to kind of feel that way. Right. And um, I, I enjoy that. I enjoy the fact that people come out wearing hula skirts and Hawaiian lays around their neck, and uh, it's fun to know that I've become somewhat of a um, an event for people to come out to. They kind of know what they're getting themselves into. How's married life doing for you? It's great, it's great. Marriage is, is a very cool thing. I think traveling together a lot is great for our, for our, our relationship and um, our daughter being able to travel with us is a big part of it. Um, but uh, we're also still, you know, we're young in our marriage, we're a couple years in and we're still learning and being better to each other. But back to the album and the music, right? Uh, do you see yourself putting out a new record or a new album down the line, or is it kind of the focus is this one right now? Um, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna put some stuff out down down the road, of course, you mm -hmm. know. But right now I'm just on my third single, uh, the second single, Beach and Went Number One. It's a big song for me, and this new song we're gonna put out called We All Want What We Ain't Got is a bit deeper. It hopefully will resonate with a lot of people. Um, it's a long way from Beachin', but it's what I, it's, it's also a song though that I am proud to say that I'm the messenger on. Um, it's something I think a lot of people live with. It's kind of a song about, you know, uh, wanting more than what, what you have. And sometimes what you have right there in front of you or at the time is plenty. It's just, we all are a little, we tend to be a little um, greedy sometimes. Um, and so this, that's what this song's about. And I'm excited to put that out and see how it does. And once that kind of takes its life, of in its course that it'll travel, um, then we'll see what, what's next. But right now I'm just, I'm really content with where things are right now in my life. Do you feel like you kind of live that lifestyle that you sing about? Now that you're married with a kid, I'm sure it's kind of a little bit more difficult. Yeah, I mean, it's a little difficult. I mean, I don't take my daughter and wife to the beach every day. Yeah. So that's what you're asking. <laughs> yeah. uh, but we try as much as possible to go. And uh, But yeah, I go, anytime I have time off, you know, I sneak off to the Bahamas or, I get home to Florida, or I get out on my boat. I try to just be near water, 
Um, yeah. And I, it's not like I'm trying to do that because that's what my music talks about. It's just it's what I love. I read somewhere that you were going to be a golfer. Are you glad that you found this path, uh, this musical path? Or could you have really seen yourself as a golfer? My dad was a great player, mm -hmm. so I kind of wanted to, you know, fulfill my dad's dreams of that. And I uh, had the shoulder surgery in college, and I kind of lost interest in golf too. And that's when music came along, and it was the one thing that I never really felt like I had to work that hard at because of how much I truly loved it. There was other things in my life that I worked at that I became good at because I worked at it, uh -huh. but I didn't love it like I love music. And so, um, to answer your question. I'm not really bummed out that the golf thing didn't work yeah. out that well. I still take a lot of money off my friends <laughs> back home, <laughs> and uh, and 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 I still get to play music and have a good time too. So that's great. Well, thank you so much for coming in, Jake. Yeah. This has been really great. Thanks.